Maldives. It's one dream vacation on hundreds of thousands of travelers' bucket list and also Instagram feeds. But you know, sometimes you go on a holiday and the beach isn't quite as pretty as the photos. That just isn't the case there. Pictures don't do it justice. Swaying palm trees, gorgeous white sands, crystal clear oceans, it's all the cliches, but for a good reason. But the real question is, is the Maldives worth it? Because let's face it, it's quite an expensive destination. video, we reached Maldives and spent our three nights at this beautiful island in South Eri Atoll. During the first two days of the trip, we relaxed in a stunning resort, took a sunset cruise and ate a lot of food. And in this video, I'll take you to part two, which ended up being quite adventurous. We saw a whale shark. Good morning and we are starting our day with floating breakfast today because we have had breakfast at all of the restaurants. Also your experience is incomplete if you have not had a floating breakfast in your own pool. And I've got an American breakfast, eggs, fruits, breads, donuts, cereal, coffee, juice. I'm sure you want to experience this as well. Mmm, let's dig in. Trust me, breakfast in bed is great, but floating breakfast are even better. By starting your day with this totally Instagram-worthy floating platters, will take your tropical getaway to a whole new level. This is a must-do experience at least once in your life. It's extra, great for the gram, and totally delicious. And hey, until you've had breakfast in a pool, you haven't lived. They are worth getting out of bed for. Morning, morning, morning. Where's my breakfast? It's right in the pool. Now I'm gonna go into the ocean and do some snorkeling. This is literally the best villa I've ever stayed in. And now Saranj is headed. Down there, we have access to the ocean. Funny to walk like this. Yeah. All set? It feels amazing to be swimming and snorkeling in the big ocean. I just saw a small fish. That's it. It was fun. Yeah, even I'm going to go in the ocean one last time. It's a last day. Sadly. Good things come to an end. Yes, it does. And then the grind starts. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the beach yep. one last time. Let's go. I've been in the waters. There's no place like the beach. Coming from a self-proclaimed beach farm, it's really hard for me to pass up a relaxing vacation on a tropical island with an incredibly beautiful powder soft beach. It is the ultimate cure for whatever your heart is in need of, fun, relaxation, love or reflection. As they rightly say, beach is the best escape anyone can have. Okay, to try this snorkeling gear. And now we're going for the whale shark excursion. Super duper excited. I always wait for snorkeling on my holiday. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it because I can't swim. I think Pooja should also try. Like we'll last time in Aruba you did. We'll see, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Let's see what I'm able to find under the water. Please remember, a whale shark is a wild animal. We never know where they are or when they're going to stop. Are you scared? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know why, but uh, I have this anxiety. I don't know why. Because of the shark? Yeah, maybe. And also the water is very rough. Is it a whale or is it a shark? The answer is, it's 100% shark. This is the largest species of shark alive today. If the whale shark is swimming along like this very slowly, we will tell you to get ready nice and fast. So 
mask on, fins on. So once we were on site, our captain started looking for whale sharks while sailing slowly in the area. And as soon as the shark was seen, the guy told everyone to put on this snorkeling gear and quickly jumped into the water. Swimming in the rain, rain, rain. Put the mask. Everyone's gone. I'm the only one who's left on the boat. But it's okay. But guys, this place, South Ari Atoll, is one place in the world where you can see whale sharks 365 days in a year. Can you imagine? That's the best part. And that's the most unique thing about staying at Lux South Ari Atoll. If you want to experience watching whale sharks, you have to be here. You saw the shark? Yeah, it was huge in a boat. Whoa, Whoa. lucky you. Round two. And here comes one of the biggest fishes in the ocean and one of the most majestic creatures to see underwater. Don't worry, you don't have to be an experienced diver to enjoy swimming with sharks. It is one of the ultimate experiences snorkeling with these gentle giants. Also, don't be scared because this species is absolutely harmless as it only eats plankton but no fish or other creatures. I saw two times. And this was, I think, the bigger one. It was 10 meters or something. Yeah. This was the biggest they have seen. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The life underwater in Maldives is one of the best scenes you'll ever see in your life. And swimming with whale shark, watching corals and fish of all kinds and colors is an experience you'll never forget. And all this is comfortably just a few meters from the beach. So put on your adventure pants and get ready to take the Maldives and whale shark watching off your bucket list. I'm sure you'll feel like you're in another world. Yeah, what are we For me, I will snorkel at the resort because there are no waves here and I can literally see fish from here. So why not just go down there? And also you can stand in the water. Yes. It's not very deep. So I'm all ready to give you a tour of this huge resort for which I have rented a bicycle. There's also buggy but it's always good to, you know, have a bike and explore on your own pace. I hope I don't fall. In the ocean. One of the best choices we made was to rent a bike for the length of our stay, which made it really easy to navigate the entire island ourselves while also making us feel like we were kids on a beach holiday. Wow, it feels amazing to be cycling just near the ocean. And now coming to the resort, one of the biggest fear we all have traveling to a small island is not knowing what to do all day. And if sunbathing isn't your thing, don't worry, there's a lot to do. I promise you won't get bored in this paradise. This stunning five-star resort is set on the lush and secluded four-kilometer island offering 187 villas, all of them located along the water. And we stayed in the romantic pool water villas, which did not disappoint us in any way. Also, for many, undoubtedly for us, food is one of the factors that we seriously count on during our stay. And Lux was a foodie heaven for me. Thanks to four, five, six, damn, I lost count. For Asian, they have East Market, the Japanese restaurant Umami, East Bar. This is the Lagoon Bar. For Italian, Allegria. I think that eight restaurants and five bars across the island. Can you imagine? And also, phone booth so you can call anywhere in the world for free these are all the beach villas and also spa what else do you want just overlooking the ocean tree of wishes so don't forget to plant a message and you might win a completely free holiday from them and look at the greenery all around multiple pools where you can chill also the beaches are really clean and have that white golden sand you see in glossy magazines and for water babies they had pretty much every water sports you could think of and to top it all, this resort is an Instagram star. There are a bunch of really cool Instagrammable spots around the island where you can click some amazing photos just like me. And if you know me, a good coffee makes a huge difference to me. So when I discovered that Lux Resorts roast their own coffee bean, I was more than excited. They have their own coffee bar at the reception that serves great cappuccinos. And maybe that's why I enjoyed my espresso martinis way too much. 
And just when I thought things couldn't get any better, the island has its own ice cream shop, Icy, and their house-made gelato was the perfect treat to cool off with. But if I can offer one piece of advice to anyone going to the Lux, it is to go all-inclusive. I can't stop raving about the food and drinks here, but it is quite expensive, as you might expect on an island. It was just nice knowing you didn't have to worry about your bill every time you went to the bar or ordered food. Ultimately, your experience in the Maldives will depend entirely on which resort you stay at. It can really make or break your trip. And more than any other corner of the world, Maldives is worth splurging for. And census for Indian, where we are going to have a lunch today. Wow, look at the view from this place. They have an infinity pool here as well. Cheers to our last day in Maldives and I'm sad. Don't be sad, we have a fun evening planned up. It's a white party that's happening right on the beach and it's going to be so much fun. Are you excited for Indian food? Yeah, I don't know, somehow we had a craving of having Indian food. This is the first time I've been served Indian like this. <laughs> Being Indian, first time. This is and amazing. Is the butter chicken? Oh, nice. It feels nice to have Indian meal. Look at the paratas. Wow. I have no words. This is damn tasty. And for dessert, we have... Gajar ka halwa. Loved it. I really feel like dozing off now. But it's a last day. Can't laze around. Another pool bar. This is the census bar. Let's just sit here for a while. I ordered a Mai Tai for myself. It's evening and it's time for cocktails. And for me? I ordered a beer. <laughs> Cold beer. Clans, I think we should go for the party and Get ready. Can't we wait for five minutes? No. I'm so relaxed Come. right now. Come. Let's go. <laughs> We're just here to enjoy the sunset. This place has amazing views. Yeah. It's actually unreal. Yeah. A secret I can never tell. Oh, oh, meet me down by the cold. I'll be waiting there for you Until the ocean tides rise and swallow So we came back and I just got ready and it's a white party so I'm all dressed in white I'm also ready Yes, we're all set to go to the white party, party. So On our way Oh wow! Uh, other one is uh, crispy prawns, avocado sauce. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy. And look at this view, guys, from here. It's right on the ocean. We can hear the waves and also this neon sign. We're actually celebrating life. And also everybody's dressed in white, so it looks pretty amazing. Yeah. Guys, all the bars have interesting washrooms. I can't believe I'm literally giving you a tour of the washrooms. But come on in. Look at this. Such an Instagram worthy spot to click pictures. And wait, this is very nice. Men to the left because women are on this right. Just when I thought it would be easy to say goodnight, Saranj lost the keys. So I'm here on my bike again. At the reception. Got it? I got it. Let's go good now. Night. Good night. And yeah. Now it's final good night. Bye. The only hard part about the trip is saying goodbye to the island 
our three days at Lux went by too quick. We were both not ready to leave. Look at this white sandy beach. Wow, I really don't want to go back. This place is amazing. Maldives, I'm going to come back again. I can never get over such places. I'm sure you guys know it by now. I love the ocean. I love the sand. And also I'm utilizing my last day as well because I will be going back to Canada to the freezing winter. So let's jump in the ocean. You know where I am? Literally at the edge of the island. I'll show you something really cool. The water is merging from both the sides. Look at this. Maldives is one of those places that makes you want to stay forever or at least much longer than you have planned for. I really loved that the island had so much to offer. There wasn't even a single moment we were bored and I can safely say we surely did not see all of it. And if you're wondering if Maldives is for you, then hear me out. If you want to really relax and unwind, spend time alone or with your partner, don't want to battle with hundreds or thousands of tourists, love the idea of a private island, don't need a lot of activities and distractions and enjoy just showing up with not having any agenda and if you want to just sit, breathe, appreciate and enjoy, it is definitely for you and that's why it will likely be my favorite unplugged vacation. So if you haven't made the leap yet, I'm sure this video will give you that extra push and hey, even if a day at the beach isn't in your near future, I hope you were instantly transported there by watching this video. That's the seaplane. It's time to go back. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. So relaxed. This is truly a tropical paradise. I'm sad now that we're going back. I love being here. This was my second time. First was for our honeymoon and second time just traveling. And you know what? I can literally come here again for the third time for sure. And guys, I'm so tanned. I cannot even tell you. All sunburnt, but it was totally worth it. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video so that I can travel more and make more such fun videos. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we say final goodbye to this amazing property, Lux. And I would definitely recommend you guys to come here. It was no doubt a bittersweet moment as the staff gathered at the dock to wave us goodbye. I truly wish I had more time on the island. Maldives, I'll definitely come back to you another time.